All right, guys, welcome to episode 135 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself a little merch at Teespring. You know what I mean? Tell a friend about it. Go down in the comments. Let us know if you're rocking with your cock out. You know what I'm saying? And that's that, man. Yeah. That's that. Just rock it out. Rock it out, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, we're back with another one. It's a beautiful Thursday. How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling a little bit festive. You know what I mean? Got yeah. a little bit of, you know, it's fall. You yeah. know what I mean? Kind fall, of. Fall, got the lumberjack. <laughs> about to fucking uh, chop wood. Yeah, I'm about to go chop some wood for the fucking Amish family next door. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if you fucking seen that shit, man. That show? You seen Amish? The Amish? I family? have. Yeah, it's crazy how they live, bro. Hey, yeah, bro. Salute to them. They choose to do it, too. They don't Salute have to. to them, but it must suck not knowing when it's gonna rain and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they feel it in the air. They stick their finger oh, yeah, out, yeah. you know, and they go. I mean, I guess you can see the clouds coming, but when you're asleep and you wake up and it's fucking storming out. Yeah, well, after three o'clock in Florida, it's gonna rain. It's guaranteed. If you're Floridian, you know that. Are, are there Amish people in Florida? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Y'all go down in the comments and let us know if you know any Amish people in Florida or if you are the Amish people in Florida. You ever rode a fucking horse? <laughs> <laughs> you ever rode a horse? I rode a horse. I rode a horse when I was a kid, man. I almost fucking, uh, I don't know, man. It was weird because it was like fucking six, seven of us kids, bro. We're all on a fucking horse. There's an adult walking the horse. And then like, I don't know. It was like in a dangerous spot yeah. to the point where like if the horse wanted to, he could kill everybody. He could just fucking flip off the fucking ridge. The kid's gone. The fucking parent holding the fucking <laughs> thing is gone. Like, damn, yeah, on a mountain or, or like. It was like on the side of a mountain. <laughs> Just on the side of a mountain. Just on the side of a mountain somewhere. That's that's like crazy. Some Khabib shit. Yeah, you ever nah, seen Khabib? Nah. Where he's from? Oh, bro. This nigga was wrestling with fucking bears when he was like twelve. God damn. For real. I mean, the closest thing I've been to on a horse was just like one of those little tiny mini miniature horses that a mini party. horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you've never been on a mini horse at a party, then you were never cool. Like, no, yeah, like nigga. that's probably I'm some not rich. riding a mini horse at a party. Were you a kid though? Yeah, I was kid. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't right. a grown ass man riding a mini horse. <laughs> that's fucking sad. Yeah, no, nah, I went to Gatorland and like fucking my mom wanted me to get on the fucking gator's back. I'm like, mom, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not fucking seven years old. Yeah, they taped the mouth, so like you know you won't get bit. You know man, that? fuck all that, nigga. I'm gonna squish this motherfucker, bro. Like, That's sad, bro. Big ass fucking nigga on a little guy ass gator. Talk uh, about fucking animal abuse. Fucking fat. alligator land or what? <laughs> gator land, bro. They be fucking. No, nah, they got some big ass gators. Bro. They got an albino one, too. Yeah, those are cool. Those are cool. But yeah. they're super rare. They're super, super rare. rare I would like on. to have albino. Anything albino is super rare. Yeah, it's Just like, like a human humans. in the fucking matrix or something. You know I mean? That's that's ridiculous. I gotta sneeze too. Fuck. My dog gotta sneeze. Well, listen, man. <laughs> I'll fucking tell you something, but I'll tell you something. The worst kind of sex is car sex, bro. I'm gonna just get straight. Jesus, to it. I was random. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just. It, we're we're jumping right we're into go it. Straight into it today. Yeah. The worst kind of sex is car sex, bro. It's yeah. Ass, like. Yes. You gotta have tinted windows. If you don't, you gotta park somewhere. The I mean, unless you just you're a degenerate and don't give a fuck. That, that's some shit that you do like. When you're like 16, 17 years yeah, old. Yeah, when you're a kid, bro. It's like, you know what, man? I'm just going to hit this girl in the back of the car. I'm not even, <laughs> <laughs> I've done that shit. We all have. Yeah, I, and yeah, if bro. you haven't, then I don't know what to tell you. But, bro, you know what I it's noticed, man? There's people. Fuck. There's people that never had sex. I mean, yeah, there's virgins, man. There's virgins. I feel bad for you. I mean, but by at choice, the same by time, choice, though. Of like, course, I, but I still feel bad for you. Yeah, because it's a, it's a great feeling that you haven't experienced yet. Yeah, I you just know what I mean, it's but just, it's like it's really crazy. I still have respect. I have a lot of respect for people that choose not to fucking have sex. Like they choose not to because it's hard, bro. Well, I mean, everybody's it, human. Everybody has that instinct. That's how. That's why it's easy for them because they never tried it. They don't know how good it is. So once they try it. Yeah, but maybe that's, that's why they're scared to do it. Because they're like, bro, if I do it, I'm going to be a fucking addict or something. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. But everybody has their own reasons. In the car, Regardless, though. I'll tell you what, man. Shout out to you. Round of applause to the virgins out there, man. Don't let nobody talk shit about you. Yeah, if you want to be a 40-year-old virgin, do it. That movie was hilarious. Hilarious. One of the best fucking movies as a kid to watch. That shit was so funny. <laughs> the fucking actors were 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 phenomenal. Uh what's his name? The one that was in the tub. 
<laughs> you remember that when he was in the tub and the girl was like, "Yeah, yeah." Oh, I forgot <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious, bro. That I'm, I'm re- funny. I'm super bad with fucking names, but I'm really good with faces. That's bad. yeah, me too. Like I'll remember your face forever. Yeah, but there's like especially if you're an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I remember your fucking face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or if you got a name that's like really, really unique. Like you got a unique name, like no one has it, like Pablo or fucking Ronald. Yeah, if you have a name that's like not not like easy to come by, I'll be like, all right, I remember your name. But bro, I'm horrible at names. I've said it before. There was a guy that I knew when I worked security. I knew him for over a year, and you still didn't know his name. Didn't know his name. I talked to him like literally every day, every other day. He would come and do, you know, he'd walk up and down the fucking shit just for like exercise. And then, like, we'd see each other because I have to walk around to make sure shit's straight anyway. So, like, you'd be like, oh, how you doing? I'd be like, hey, there he is. Sort of guy. That's what I say every time I say him. Oh, there he goes. There's that guy. I swear, bro, for like a whole fucking year and a half, this guy's fucking talking to me about his daughters. Oh, there he is. Fucking, he nah. was a doctor and all this other nah, shit. This I was like, damn, bro. Like, he's divulging yeah. his whole life to me. I'm like, bro. I, that's when I fell back because one day I realized I'm like I don't know your name and you've told me so much shit about your life, bro. I'd be it's so disrespectful if I'd be like, "Yo, what's your name again?" No, it's shitty right. when they know your name and you don't know and you don't know yeah. theirs. It's like, "Hey, hey, uh, hey, John," and I'm just like, "Oh, hey," and then they expect. Yeah, yeah. That's when they know that you don't know their name because that's you don't why call I'd back. always be like, "There he yeah, is, yeah, there he is." Don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> bro, because they would be like, "Hey, John," I'll be like, "Oh." Damn, that's awkward. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, you ever run into somebody that remembers you and you don't know who the fuck they are? Yeah. But, like, they're telling you about people that you know. You're like, yeah, yeah, you know the fucking Billy Bobby over here. Fuck, we went to high school together. And you're like, I remember Billy Bob, bro. Yeah, it's but like who fucking, the fuck are you? It's like Juan, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we always had that one friend that just, like, just. Bro, if you weren't part of the crew since day one, then fucking, you know, who is this guy? Yeah, nah. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I've been standing here for fucking 20 minutes. Yeah, you know My mean? boy Juan tried this man like four times with that, that yeah. shit, bro. That was crazy. And I got him on Facebook, too. It's yeah, the craziest like, thing. Be sta- like, bro, he's known him for years. We'd be standing <laughs> there, you know what I'm saying, for like 20 minutes talking in a circle. And then, like, out of nowhere, Juan would just look over and be like, yo, who the fuck are you, bro? Like, who the fuck is this guy? Be like, bro, <laughs> bro. John. You met him three years ago and he's been standing there for 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my bad, bro. I didn't see him. Damn, you know, bro. He'll give me a hug and shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Shout going out to on? Juan, man. Yeah, nah, Round but I got applause. him on Facebook. He's doing good. I see him. Round of applause for Juan, man. Man, I love. I grew up with that guy, bro. Yeah. That nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's been cool since day one, bro. That's wild to me, man. He's been a good guy. That's the good thing, man. But listen, man, you know what's a good thing? Another round of applause for Nick Merckx. All right. Nick Merckx just fucking signed a deal. He's a gamer, bro. He's a gamer. He's been doing his gaming shit for some years now. Um, he moved over to Twitch. He's been there for a couple years. He's been making good money, bro. But he just signed a, a deal. You know what I'm saying? He just signed a deal that's close to $50 million. Over $30 million, close to 50 you know what I'm saying? And it's like, fuck, man. That's like, a lot of money, man, just to sit there and play video just games. Just to sit there and do what you love to do. But what type of, what's in the contract? Like, what do you have to, like, have a certain amount of, I'm pretty sure you like, got to twit, you got to stream every day for a certain amount of time. You got to have, you, you got to keep hit. a certain amount of fucking viewers and numbers and view time and all this. Like, it, you, there's certain you, things that come with it, I'm sure. Yeah. But. You got to hit a certain amount of clips, like, but, certain specific things maybe that they want you to do. Yeah, maybe. You see what they, I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, and maybe it's push fucking certain logo or certain fucking things that they want you to, you know, they want to sell more of. You know what I mean? But. People are swinging the air that fucking work their ass off outside all day. And then they hear shit like that. It's like. 30. I mean, but he worked his ass off. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It's a different type of work yeah. your ass off, but it's yeah. still working your ass off. Because guess what, bro? To have the dedication to sit in front of a fuck. Bro, I play I play games all the time. Yeah. There's certain days where after 30 fucking minutes, I'm off this shit. Yeah, bro. I don't want to do I can't fucking this. deal with this shit right now. Fuck you. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to fucking do yeah. it. I'm off. I'm going to go do something else. Yeah. You can't do that when you have a contract and you have to be on there for fucking eight hours. This is the same shit. You're like, It's fuck. like when you get to work and you don't want to be there that day and you look down and you're like, bro, I got seven hours in this motherfucker. It's the same thing, except it's worse because you got fucking hundreds of thousands of people watching you. There's, bro, there's, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no other... There's, there's no... More like of a worse feeling of you just like going to work and like really watching the clock every fucking minute. 
That's tragic, man. I feel There's bad. People that I feel live bad their life for like people that. like that. I feel bad for people that like they just go to work. They don't want to be there. They're there. They're miserable while they're there. They get home. They're miserable about having to go back there, and they just they live like that for 20, 30 years, and then they think that that's life. You know? Yeah, and it's not. It's not. It's sad, but people think <laughs> like, like that's just what it is. Take chances. I'd rather live man. in the jungle. I'd rather fucking take chances, bro. I'd rather take my risks. I'd rather take my chances than to be sitting here and like wondering what if do, just doing. Yeah. Wondering what if and, and just following the status quo. Yeah. Like everybody went to college. Why? Because they told you that was the thing to do. Go to college. Get an education. You'll get a good job. Uh, f- bullshit, bro. Half of that shit was bullshit. More than half of the people that go to college are unhappy as fuck. Student loans. You know what I'm saying? On some squid game shit, bro. <laughs> like for real. Like yeah. that's the point where they're at with it. Yeah. You know nah, what I'm saying? Like no, nah, that's that's a that's trash, man. Like I know a lot of people that are still going to college. Like I, I know this girl that I know, like she bartends and shit, so I see her for once in a while. I'm like, Oh, how's 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 work going? She's like, Oh yeah, you know, I'm actually still going to school. I'm like, Wow, it's been like six years. What are you going what are you majoring? You're not becoming a doctor. You know, so it's like some on people, and off, you I know? I mean, it's like, I don't know, bro. It's just like a way of life for some people, I guess. And then yeah. some people feel better knowing that you could go for the rest. Like, if you really want to, you could be in college for the rest of your life. Like, there's no age fucking range. There's 40-year-olds in college. There's yeah. 50-year-olds in college. They decide to go back. So if you want to just keep learning about everything for the rest of your fucking life, bro, you literally can, man. And if that's what you want to do, that's cool, bro. But I feel like there's way more to life than just fucking going to college, bro. Like, if you want to do that, I'm not saying don't. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's different. That might be something that you're, you need for your, you know, your to build your life. You know what I mean? But you know yourself, bro. You don't have to fucking go to college. You don't have to do any of that shit. If you have a dream and you're like, yo, I want to put 120% into this shit and I'm going to see where the fuck this shit goes, fuck it. See where it goes. It might be the best thing you ever did. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, if you if you want to become a fucking doctor, become a doctor. You know what I mean? Facts. Do your thing. Like, do you have you to go do. to college to become a doctor. You can't just fucking... No, there's certain things yeah. you got you yeah. to be... Of course, bro. Yeah. But most people ain't going to become a doctor. Yeah. And most people ain't going to fucking... Like... Most people, honestly, most people, I feel like they would do better off just like learning a trade. Yeah, they say trade school is like one of the best things to do. It is. Yeah. Bro, do you understand like nigga in a month, in one month, I got my class A CDL and I was potentially going to be making more than people that were that had been in college for five years. Think about that in a month, learning a trade in a month. That's crazy. You just spent five years of your life in fucking college. You're in debt. You leave college with $100,000 in debt, and now you can't get a job. But somebody went and learned a trade in a month, and now they're making $65,000 to $100,000 a year. And they're not in debt. Yeah. Oof, that's rough. And if they are in debt, it's like seven grand. Being in debt, you know what I'm saying it's not like some crazy amount where it's like fuck, I can't even like this is a house. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm paying for a house, and you literally, like that's crazy. Nah, people think like oh, like just getting like getting a house is cool and all. You know, especially when you're young, you be able to pay that mortgage off. You got you got years. You'll still be young. You know, when you're done paying it yeah, off, of course. But when you're like 40, 50 years old and you're talking about 30 year loan, it's like, come on, bro. Really? I mean, at that point, who gives a fuck? Go for the home run, nigga. I ain't yeah. going to be left with this fucking debt. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to pay the house off. I'm going to die. Well, and I enjoyed well, it. Well, and just, now that passes to somebody else, though. Yeah, of course. But that's people's mentality. Though. Yeah. That's where that generational fucking shit comes from. That's why you got to work hard to leave something. Man. Yeah. I tell people all the time, bro, you, you, it's great to have a great job. You can't fucking pass that down, nigga. Yeah, you can't, bro. You can't pass down a CEO position if you're not the owner of the company. Mm-hmm. Not you can't. Yeah, I don't give a fuck how good you were. You could have worked there for twenty years, bro. When, when not- Dame Dash, when he was on uh the Breakfast Show, he was talking yeah, the to Breakfast Club. Like, yeah, Breakfast Club, and he was talking to Charlemagne and shit like that. He's like, "Yo, man, like, how does it feel? How does it feel that you have to tell your son that you know you got a boss?" Yeah, facts. When he could be his own boss, you know what I mean? He's like, no one could fire me. Facts, but that's that's where people get comfortable. Yeah, because there's different levels of employment. Like yeah. there's niggas that get pay, paid millions of dollars and, a year, like Envy. Yeah, and they're comfortable. 
But guess what? Those millions of dollars you could blow through, your wife could blow through, your son could blow through. But if you have a fucking company, a sustainable business that's running and you leave it running, they could run it into the ground too. But if you teach your kid how to be business minded, like Dame Dash said, he's like, yo, my son is 23 and he owns three businesses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, that's that's tough, nigga. That's what I want my son to be doing. I don't want you to be 23 working at fucking Burger King, flipping burgers, having somebody fucking call you out your name because you got an order wrong. Yeah. You feel me? Like, fuck all that, nigga. How about you own the Burger King and you come and check up on the numbers once a fucking month? How about that? But people don't... It, that's too far-fetched for some people. Some people think that that's unattainable, and it's fucking not, bro. It might be for you, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't talk down to people that want to do that and yeah. want to live that life. Yeah, if they want to do it, then yeah, then yeah, do that. Like, yeah. Most people are like, oh, it, that's wrong, bro. You, like, you should go to do this, do that, do the other. And there's it's a like, difference. That, that would be good for you, there's bro. A, yeah, there's a totally two different things of not believing it. Like, ah, oh, no, that's not possible, to not wanting to do it. Exactly. That's a fact. Yeah. And, and and that's fine, bro. Everybody ain't the same, man. There's people that really do want to live humbly. Like, they they don't care about much as long as their needs are met. They're cool, bro. And there's other people that they want to experience the best out of life. And, and no, there's nothing wrong with either one of them, bro. I was watching a, a documentary of uh, when Donald Trump, he was, he was literally saying a speech about, you know, being a worker and being a leader. And mm-hmm. he's like, bro, like, some, like people can't handle the stress and, and the pressure that's, that's pushed on them. They just can't. He's like, he starts naming off his friends. He's like, man, John, hell of a guy. Makes a lot of fucking money. But he's a great worker. Some people right. are just great workers. Like, that's just what yeah, it is. Like, and it's cool, bro. And it's like, there's different pressures. There's different pressures in different sectors, bro. Like, you could be working in a cubicle and you have certain pressure. Yeah. And you think that the guy up top has, has it way easier because you see a certain lifestyle or you see certain things and he's like bro that motherfucker's probably stressing 10 times harder than you yep because if you get fired you could go look for another job if his company goes under nigga he goes under yep he loses it all everything he fucking worked for is gone you know what i'm saying so it's like there's different pressures and different levels bro and it's some people want to be an entrepreneur and they want to be their own boss and they try it and then they realize real fucking quick that it's way harder than what people fucking make it sound mm-hmm. being your own boss ain't fucking it's not that easy once you get a certain you know once you get your groove and you learn certain things and you move a certain way it's it's easier but you still got to maintain bro you live, still, it's it's hard bro and how people are is like we live in the world where this is my opinion, guys. You know what I mean? So this this is what I think. Like, I feel like we live in a world where it's like we're in a flex generation. The new flex is not the flex. The new flex is not the flex with what you got. Yeah. You know, like Fast. nowadays we live in, you know, social media era where it's like we have to flex. You know, you got to flex with the belt. You got to flex with it. And it's nice. I like nice things. Yeah, of course. I love nice things. But we live in a world where it's like if you don't flex and people know that you got it, they'll respect you more. Yeah, because... If that's what you're doing it for, that's really fucking shallow. Yeah. And people see that. It's like, oh, this guy ain't doing it to for his family or he's not doing it to to, you know, better the world or whatever the fuck. He's doing it for himself and people see that type of shit. Yeah. And it's like, bro, it's like that's cool. You know, if that's what you want to do, bro, that's cool. But people are gonna see it and they're not gonna respect it as much as like just doing it because you want to set your fucking family up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it's not just for you. That's literally that's that as a man, bro, as a grown man, once you're when you're a boy, you're a boy. You're self-centered. You think about you. Me, me, me. I want pussy. I want money. I want this. I want that. I I I. When you become a man, you're like, oh wait, hold up, bro. Like, it's not just me. And if it is right now, it might not be just me in five years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you're a man, bro, you got family, you got mom, sister, siblings, fucking whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? You might have kids, but you're responsible for that, bro. Mm-hmm. As fucked up, or it's not even fucked up. As much as you you want to avoid the responsibility, that's your responsibility to make sure that your family's straight. That yeah. is a man's responsibility. And people be having like, you know, everybody goes through it in life, man. Like everybody has shitty jobs. Everybody feels like a loser. Everybody feels like certain things. Like of course, everybody goes through that, and you got to overcome it and just be be positive and and 
and be strong. Like that's the best way you could do it. Like, cause life is just going to keep knocking you down. That's, that's how you just got to keep yeah, going. Yeah, nah, facts. You just yeah. build callus over, you know, you just build callus. You just like, all right, fuck it. Like, you know, some like shit's going to come, but you're more prepared for it next time than you were last time. You know what I'm saying? Cause you've been through something. Yeah. That's why it's important to get out in the world and, and go through some shit. Struggle a little bit. They say get that. Your, you know what I'm saying? Like get your yeah. hands dirty, go work, go fucking struggle, go be broke. For real, like yeah. shit. That type of shit helps you, man. And they they say that uh, they say that like when you get sad, it's because of you know your intelligence. Like the more the uh, like you understand something a little bit better, you know. And, it, and that's it, true. Mo- the yeah. more most people that are more depressed, they just see the world for what it really is, and it's depressing. Yep. Because it's all fucking fake, and it's all facade, and it's all fucking acting. Everybody's fucking acting. Yeah. Most people are a character of who they want to fucking be, not who they really are. Yep. And that's why social media helps you push that. It helps you push a character. That's not that's not who the fuck that's you not are. You. Yeah. That's, that's not, not who the you. fuck you are. Yeah. Whenever I see people like have guns in their pictures, like I like what really what really goes to your mind when you when when you first see that? Ignorance. Just, like it's just ignorance is bliss. You don't you don't really know the like I automatically what, you don't know you don't know what you're attracting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like or well, you might know what you're attracting and you're just playing with fire. But either, either way it's yeah. ignorant. Yeah. That's what I think. It's like that's ignorant. You're putting out an image that's like like what type of positivity is that right there? Like there is no type of like level of positivity in that type of picture when you see Especially fucking, if you're not at a range, you're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you're, it's you're like, at a range and it's and you're taking a picture with your gun at the range or you're hunting and you have a gun and you have your gun with you and you killed a deer, that's different. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you're out here like standing in front of a kitchen with money and guns. Like what like what what do you what are you trying to like prove? That's my question. Yeah. Like are you a gangster because you did that? Or like are you really about it's that just, life? It's a character again. It's, yeah. a, it's going back to that. It's like you're looking at it, but it's a character, bro. It's yeah. a character that people create, man. It's not really who the person is. Yeah, it's kinda like you're That's in a video why, game. Like, it's like you gotta you gotta separate the people from from the character, man. Like Nipsey isn't Nipsey, bro. His name is Ermius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like DMX isn't DMX, bro. His name is Earl. Yeah. That's Earl, bro. Yeah, it's you Earl. You feel me? Like, but to people, he's the character. DMX. Woo, woo, woo. And, right. Yeah. But that's not nigga, yeah. who the yeah. fuck walks around barking like that. You think he did that for real though? No, for real. Off no, the for, off the music. You think real. he walked around doing that shit? It's like Kevin Hart when people are like, Unless "Yo, be was, funny." Yeah, it's like he's like, "Yo, my man, like, <laughs> I don't want to be funny." How right about now. you go get me a drink? Yeah, I'm worth 250 m's, and you're telling me to be funny like I'm a fucking monkey. So yeah. go fucking fetch me something. Yeah. <laughs> like for real, bro. Yeah, like some niggas are just fucking ignorant, bro. Some niggas are just ignorant, but. That's that's. Yeah. But you know who's ignorant, man? It's these motherfuckers that got set up by the PPP loan, man. Run oh, applause to y'all. Shit. Y'all are balling out for a little bit. I gotta bring it back up. Yeah. Because these niggas are fucked. Yeah. And when y'all get caught, that's a setup. That's fuck. No, for real. Like, you, you, listen, man. If you're gonna do something wrong, do it right. All right. There you go. Like, yeah. have a real business. Spend the money on what you need to spend it on, and you don't have to pay it back after that. It's very simple. Yeah, you or just like, or just do some type of payment plan to pay them back. Like, just show them. No, that you're, you're gonna have to after yeah. they fucking show, come for you. Yeah, show them that you're trying, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, fuck, like, like you show them like, hey man, like, all right, this guy's <laughs> doing something. He's trying to pay his back. All right, come on. Like, yeah, no, nah, that's all they want. They just want their motherfucking money, bro. I'm not even gonna cap. They don't care if I'm it takes ten, fifteen years, or twenty. They, you know, they want it. Yeah, no, they just that's want it. their shit back, bro. But yeah. I get it. I fucking get it. But yeah, man, I just want to bring that up real fucking quick once again. PPP loan was a setup. That's all I'm gonna say. Niggas think that they're fucking balling. They're gonna be chilling. <sighs> nah, they're not. Actually. Them alphabet boys is coming. FBI, FDA, <laughs> yeah. all them niggas. Yeah. The alphabet boys is coming. Bro. Have you ever fucking stepped in a plane and you seen some like guy getting arrested? Like you ever seen the marshals where they transfer like the criminals and shit? Like you ever Listen, seen that? Man. The criminals, bro. I haven't seen that, but I'll tell you something <laughs> about some fucking criminals. All right, there's a fucking guy, right? Florida man tries to trade in a vehicle that he stole from the dealership. Oh, shit. He stole the fucking vehicle from this dealership and went back, bro, and tried to sell it back to him. Florida man. Round of applause. Uh, nah, why is it always crazy in Florida? Of bro, listen, I feel man. like it's crazy everywhere. And There's they just a lot make of meth seem. over here, dog. No cap. There's a lot of meth in Florida, bro. We're in Niggas the Caribbean. 
We're pretty much in the Caribbean <laughs> if you think about it. I think it's island boy. I'm an island boy. <laughs> you, seen my two, <laughs> you ever seen the two twins? The fucking island boy. Uh, fucking island boy, my ass. <laughs> I just wanted to fucking talk about this guy, though, man. That's some balls, bro. All right, so. This guy stole a car. Look, man, a Florida man tried to trade in a vehicle from the same dealership he stole it from. Lake City police responded to a report of a stolen vehicle at a Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealership on Monday. Employees told officers that a man was trying to trade in his vehicle for a new one. But upon checking the VIN number, they found that the vehicle was stolen from the dealerships a few days earlier, bro. What the fuck? Like two days earlier, bro. A man, the man admitted to stealing the vehicle, adding the crime was captured on the dealership's camera system. So, bro, you're fucked. You're fucked. You got some balls. Like, how do you think bro, they're not going to know? Go take that. Go sell that shit on the street. Somebody's going to buy it. They're not going to know. Somebody's going to buy it. Somebody's going to buy it for like three racks. You just came up on a couple bands. Yeah. Nobody knows nothing. They're going to change the fucking color. They're no going to take the sale. bumpers <laughs> off. They're going to fucking put it on four different cars. They're going to take it to a shop shop, bro. And it, it like you'll be fucking all right. But yeah. nigga, to be that dumb, I think you just want to get caught. At that point, you're like, fuck life. Yeah. You're just like, <laughs> like bro, they're no going gonna to read the VIN number and they're going to be like, hold on. Um, Mr. Smith, hold on. We'll be right back. We're gonna come. How do you think they do this? (laughs) (laughs) You think that they just (laughs) like? You know what? It's gone. They fucking. They forgot the VIN number. You know what's crazy though? A lot of those dealerships don't have GPSs on those fucking cars. I remember working for Drive Time before they fucking went out of business, so we could talk about all this shit. But they used to steal cars from there all the fucking time. Bro, their shit was in the middle of the hood. I used to be buffing cars, and there would be like shootouts. I swear, you can ask Miguel. It'd be like a fucking shootout, like two streets over. What? I swear, bro. You can hear shots going off, bitches screaming, fucking cops showing up, and I'm just over here, like, buffing a car. I'm like, bro, this is ass, bro. I can get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Nah, that is it, bro. <laughs> There's people that get hit by stray bullets for no bro, reason. I, no, there was a few times where I went, and I was just like, yo, I'm going to go over here because... There was like shots going off over there, and if I get hit by one of them, bro, you're going to owe me the whole company. What bro. goes up comes down. That's a fact. And what goes fucking sideways goes in your fucking leg when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> My leg. I'm yeah. telling you, bro. You got fucked for no reason, bro. Nah, that's that's fun, some SpongeBob bro. shit. But now, nah, listen, man. Round of applause to this fucking other yeah. Florida woman, though, all right? Florida. Florida, man. I'm telling you. We, we, we live in a fucking crazy place. But listen, man. Florida woman's shocked when she discovers a billion dollars in her bank account. A Florida woman, Julia Yon. Yonkowski. Oh, she's like German or something. She nah. sounds sexy, no cap. No, she Julia might, Yonkowski. She, she might have some moles. She went hey bro, she went to, <laughs> <laughs> She went to her local Chase Bank. Oh, I need to move to Chase. She went to her local Chase Bank on Saturday to take out twenty dollars but decided to check her account balance first. The ATM printed her a receipt saying her account had nine hundred and ninety nine hundred million dollars. Like almost a billion fucking dollars. I would have just stayed quiet and just leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that. She said, oh my God, I was horrified. I know most people would think that they won the lottery, but I was horrified. The situation (laughs) got stranger when she tried to withdraw $20 and the machine told her that she was broke and it was about an overdraft. What? <laughs> so they got her ass. There was a glitch in the system. It was a glitch, bro. Yeah, that's but imagine she tried to take that shit out, bro. I'm gonna try to take it out. I would have went in there and tried to take out like three grand, see if it came out, and if it did, yeah, I'll just keep you know taking. What three you're grand about out. to do about three years for them three grand. No, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, for real, that is for real, bro. That's not your fucking money. You think the bank ain't gonna figure that shit the fuck out? Man, they now you wild. <laughs> I'm the type that's like <laughs> He's the type that is gonna be cooking his food in a cell. Yo, I'll take I'll take that three thousand, bro. And I'll hey, I'll make it work. You do that. Yeah. Yeah, when I'll, them boys come knocking, bro, you're gonna be fucking shitting uh, your bridges. I'm gonna be up in a tree somewhere, bro. Hiding. <laughs> yeah, you you fucking do that. Their yeah. German shepherd is gonna go sit right under that tree and them boys gonna just put that flashlight on you. Be jungle. Like, Jungle yo, boys Listen bro Just come down bro Nah I ain't coming down Till you chop it down Bitch Alright bro Say no more Yeah <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta see a fucking shit tumble straight to the fucking. I ain't, earth. I ain't coming down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but listen, man, that shit's crazy, bro. Some crazy shit happens in Florida, guys. If you're from here, you fucking understand. But look, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the comments, leave one, like, share, subscribe, get yourself a fucking shirt, a hoodie. My boy did some new colorways. The cameras just shut off, but we appreciate every single you. last fucking one of you. We love you and have a good day. All right. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.